back on High School Sports Weekly here at Vestavia Hills High School. I'm Chris Stewart, joined by Coach Bridget Meadow and some of the members of her soccer team. We're going to let them introduce themselves now. I'm Sarah Francis Gilroy. I'm Annie Golan. I'm Julia Gill. I'm Ella Denton. And I'm Bridget Meadow. You are indeed, Coach. It's great to see you. Covered you as a student athlete yourself, ironically at a rival school back in the day, but you played two sports in college, three in high school, two in college. Tell me how the competitive nature that you had as an athlete helps you in coaching as well. Well, over the years, my competitive nature has evolved. You know, when I was younger, I was more volatile and uh, less uh, controlled. And then as a younger coach, I was pretty much the same. So uh, over the years, as I've been coaching, I've learned to um, in encourage and um, get the girls to embrace the competitive spirit and to uh, not back away from any kind of challenge, whether it's in athletics or in life. So um, I think that now I'm more of a, a coach as far as competitors instead of like uber competitive myself. Absolutely. So tell me, what's it like to play for someone or how does it help you playing for someone who played the game yourself? Um, it really helps because she really uh, helps us understand like when I'm doing something wrong and stuff like and I can ask her questions she can relate to me and know my position and even though she was on offense and I played defense in high school um, she's still able to help me and connect with me and my teammates around me really help as well. So pretend she's not standing right here. Can you take her in practice? Um, Probably not. She's really good. <laughs> I was I was wondering if you were really going to go there, and I knew you weren't going to give me the answer if it was no, or if it was yes, you, you could take her. So tell me, though, what you enjoy most about playing the sport. Um, I love the competitiveness and just how we can all have fun together. For you, what got you involved with soccer? So I've always played soccer for a long time, and... I wasn't originally going to play high school soccer, but then I heard about the goalie coach, Alex Carroll, and how good she was and how good the coaching was for girls soccer in general, and I thought that's something that I want to be a part of. It matters here, doesn't it? It's, a, it's an important sport, isn't it? Tell me about that and, and how that drives you as a student athlete yourself. Well, being a part of something that's just bigger than myself, it really encourages me to become like a better person and better player for my teammates. So that then when I like go out into the community, I know that I'm representing something that's more than just myself. And I'm representing a great team to be a part of and that I'm carrying the Vestavia girls soccer name. Are you a senior now? I'm a junior. Junior now. All right. But you, it's, it's kind of unique when you're a junior. You're expected to be more of a leader. You're not in the senior class. Does classification matter at all in that regard? It really doesn't. We're all like a team here. And so the seniors, like they lead us and encourage us, but they also encourage us to like become leaders ourselves and to help out the team in whatever way we can and to support each other and grow together. You made it to the semis last year. How did that fuel the off season to try to go further? Well, we didn't win and that was really hard and it kind of gave me a sense of motivation and I think gave the rest of the team a sense of motivation to get back there and to work harder because we know that we can and it just really showed that we can go further than we thought we could. Can you appreciate though what you did accomplish last year? I can because we, we did put work in but we can put more in this year to get further. Tell me, because I know you invested a lot obviously for last year. So what does it take, what do you think it's going to take extra to get to another level as far as advancing? I think if we work as a team and we have like more team bonding and we all have that connection and that chemistry on the field, then we'll just um, win together. All right. So from a, a team standpoint, a unity standpoint, this is the time of year where it's not fun. I mean, you're, you're trying to get ready for the season, which is still a couple of months away. But how do you lean on each other to get through these these few months that aren't enjoyable to get to the part that is? Um, I think it's just know like what you're getting to, you know, like you, I know like if my freshman year I was on the bench when we won state and I just know how special that memory is for everyone and I really want to be a part of it again this year and me and her both as seniors are working on more team bonding wise so that we can all lean on each other and grow outside of preseason and that we can all like really push ourselves to work hard. From a general standpoint, what are the goals for this time of year, but expectations for this team as a whole? Well, the goals are to not overtrain because a lot of times they're still playing soccer uh, 
in their club, so I'm not trying to overtrain them, but also get stronger and faster and realize, you know, sometimes they'll come in and like tell me that they have soccer practice or a game and they can't do workouts. Well, you're 14, 15 years old. You can do an hour workout here and then go play two games and you're fine. So <clears throat> to me, it's like, if you're trying to make an excuse, then you don't need to be a part of the team. If you're gonna make an excuse to skip a workout, then this isn't for you. So to me, it's weeding out those that um, don't have the grit to be a part of this program and to do whatever uh, it takes or whatever is asked of them. And then, uh, you know, to find those players that are willing to break down walls and do whatever is asked of them, no matter if it seems impossible or not, they're always going to find a way to get it done. So I think that's what I base preseason off of um, for the most time, for the most part, is to see those two things. Right. Yeah. Ladies, thank you for the time. Good luck to you, and thank you for joining us here on High School Sports Weekly.